Now we have to talk about the tropics. We have two systems we're looking at. One that's going to affect us, but I want to preface this by saying that this system is not expected to become a strong system by any means. It's just this disorganized cluster of rain, no circulation, it's not going to form into anything, nothing like that. It does have a lot of rain with it though. So this will move to the north and the west. Here we are on the sun coast, and there's Tampa, there's Miami. And here's this little cluster of rain, very disorganized. This moves throughout the state tomorrow. And so we'll start the future track at 8.30 tomorrow morning. Watch as the rainfall becomes more widespread tomorrow. A lot of heavy rain with that. This applies for most of the state as well. So even if you're heading like to the north, still looking at plenty of rainfall there. Same if you're going south. Also look at this light blue here. That shows what we call high precipitable water. So there's going to be a lot of moisture on the ground, which could lead to some isolated downpours. And so right now, some of the models are saying between two, three inches of rain possible within the next 48 hours. That's quite a bit. So maybe some minor flooding with this. Again, nothing in terms of winds that we need to worry about due to the fact that it's not expected to become anything substantial. The one storm that is expected to become a tropical system, which would be Ian, is this system right here. 80% chance of becoming a tropical system within the next 48 hours. But you'll notice from the models, it's what we call a fish storm. It's just going to move on to the northeast and not affect land.